How's it going guys? Sam from Mindeck Outdoors here. Today we're going to be doing a catfish catch and cook. I am back up here in South Dakota as you guys can probably tell. Um, the temperature change is quite insane to be honest. Earlier this week in Omaha it was like 90, 80 degrees. And down here it's like set in the lower 70s so it's really nice down here. The temperature is perfect. Uh, we got a little bit of cloud cover today and I think we should be able to catch some catfish today. I'm going out with my good friend Peyton so we're going to go pick him up in just a little bit but look who we got here. It's Daisy. You haven't seen her in a while, have you? Hey, Daisy, how's it going? Yeah, you're a cutie. You ready for hunting season? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're a cute little puppy. Um, we're gonna go pick up some bait. We need to catch some frogs. We got little butterfly nets that we're gonna catch frogs with. And then we're gonna go head out to a couple different spots today, see if we can't catch anything. Before I start anything, um, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Taco Box. If you guys don't know what Mystery Taco Box is, it is a monthly description to this little box and you get like six to eight baits in it every month. Um, it comes to your door and you get to use the baits right away. Um, they hand pick out the lures and they're honestly some of the greatest lures on there. Um, it's a big surprise every single time. It's like Christmas every single time you get a box. Anyway, I got the box here. Now, see we got the box here. Now I know I said we we're going catfishing, but that doesn't mean that they don't have anything good in here that we could be able to use for catfishing. They got hooks, they got weights, they got a whole bunch of type of different types of stuff. We're gonna go open this month's box here actually. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be using out of this month's box. Um, the spot that we're going to also has so much white bass. There might be some large mouth or small mouth in there so we don't ever know. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch anything on this and uh, we're gonna go crack it open. We got the box here. I haven't opened it up yet. Woo. I already see some pretty decent looking stuff in here. Um, here we got some big bite baits, um, little, I don't know. They're like little, uh, you can put these on like a drop shot or kind of like a shaky head type deal. But as you can tell, they're green and they look really good. I feel like you can almost catch some walleyes or white bass on this or maybe even some big crappie. I'm not really sure. Here we got some wacky rig hooks. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can use these for the catfish. I'm not really sure. Okay, maybe not. They're, I mean, oh wow, yeah, they're, they're sharp hooks. They're solid sharp hooks, as you guys can tell. They might be just a little small for uh, catfishing today. But, uh, ooh, I already see. We got some flipping baits we could throw. I don't think we'll be using those too much. Then we got this beefy jig here. It's gray. I we, we could be able to use this today. I'm not sure. We'll see. Here we got some crawls. We got some, uh, we got some crawls here that we could throw onto this jig. These might come in handy today. I'm not really sure. We might be flipping some cattails along these creeks. I don't know. And here we got this giant bull shad. I mean, I know these catfish are eating like little bait fish and stuff. So this might come into play actually. But I mean, we even might be able to use one of these treble hooks for catfishing. Um, like I said, we're even using frogs. So we could definitely use maybe one of these treble hooks if we run out of hooks or something. These might be a go-to. Here we just got a little booyah jig, it's a natural color. And here we got a little crankbait. Um, it's a kind of a natural color. I think we should be able to catch some fish on this because I know there's a lot of minnows, it's shallow diving, there's a lot of minnows at this bridge that we're going to. And the white bass were just absolutely murking the minnows there. So maybe we can get on a few with this. Or I mean, we still might be able to use these treble hooks for the catfish like I said. But anyway, I'm not really certain if we're gonna be using any of this stuff because Honestly, bass fishing up here right now is kind of cheeks. It's not the greatest, but back down in Omaha, some of this stuff would really would be really good to use. If you guys want to get your own box, we'll leave a link down below. Definitely check them out. Huge shout out for them for sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys want to check it out, we'll leave the link down below. Um, now it's time to go catch frogs, so I'll see you guys at the first spot. All right, guys, we finally made it here to the bridge. Um, Peyton's gonna go looking for some frogs real soon. We got three frogs right now. We got those two keggers and one smaller one. Anyway, we're finally here. My allergies are acting up really bad. Anyway, if you hear me sniffling a lot, my bad. Um, allergies are kicking in. I didn't take my allergy medicine today, so that was on me. Anyway, water looks really good. I think we'll clap some catfish. We're gonna get out there, just got the GoPro on, and I'll see you guys on the chesty. So there's one important aspect of catfishing that I've always found is you need to be comfortable. Got the lawn chair, lawn chair. Cooler, we got the snacks, Dr. Pepper, Cheez-Its, Oreos, mega stuff. You like the mega stuff? Oh yeah. God, yeah. That is the most important thing about catfishing, minus the fishing part. Anyway, I'm gonna go put the frog on, cast it out there, see if we can't catch one. Come down here, just get me a little, oh God, those are big. 
Look at this frog. Look at this frog boy, it's crying me. Peyton said go big or go home. We're gonna rig up Buddy. Right to the snout there. And he, he is dead. And uh, we're just gonna go one through the lake too. That's gonna slap a 20 pounder, dude. Okay, not where I wanted to cast at all. Good God, he weighs more than my weight, dude. Put it on. Me? No, I'm not putting them on. <laughs> But he's a pro catfisherman over here with the bell. Cry mini. Dude, my nose is just KO'd. Oh yeah, also, shout out to you guys that commented on the last video that said I didn't need to set the hook on the circle hooks. It's my bad. So, I guess supposedly you're supposed to reel down on it. And it gets him right in the corner of the mouth, so. I'll be trying that. You guys know what time it is. Oh golly. These things are just giant. Look at that. Mmm. Told you we should have brought milk out. All right, I need to get these Oreos away from me. I'm kind of feeling fat now. Dude, if I catfished every day, I'd be so fat. Like, I'm already fat enough. Let's try cutting the frog in half, boys. Anyway, we got juicy frog legs on. Cut Buddy in half. Oh, you got one? Hey. Alrighty, just an update for you guys for the catch and cook part of this video. Um, so far we've caught two giant catfish. I think I might throw those into a different video. So if you guys want to watch that video, stay tuned for the next couple days. And we'll post it on that one. And uh, it should be a giant catfishing one. So uh, stay tuned for that one. But right now we're just going to be focused on catching that little perfect size eater. And uh, we're going to see if we can't get one. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh, God. God. Is it still there? Yeah? Yeah. Big it or small? Is it going to be our eater? Is it going to be our eater? It doesn't feel bad. It feel bad. Is it going to be our dinner? It, it doesn't feel big at all. It's going to be our dinner. Is that what you're saying? Oh, it's our dinner. That is dinner. You think he's too small? No. No. You want another one of them? We'll get two of these, eh? There's dinner boys. Little, I don't know. Is he too small to eat? I mean, you still get a decent fillet off of him. We'll, we'll keep him. Y'all told me catfish taste better if you cut them. So we're just gonna go right down near the tail here. Probably ain't the best knife. And we did kill Buddy, by the way. So if anybody's wondering, we still alive. Now he's dead. Whew, we got dinner. I think we need one or two more of those size. And Pay and I will be eating good. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pumped, dude. I'm really eat catfish the way we're cooking it tonight. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty stoked. Just caught that little catfish that Peyton caught for us. That one's going to be dinner. I'm getting, I was getting bit just a couple seconds ago. So I'm, I, sorry if I keep looking back. Anyway, um, hopefully we'll catch some more little eater sized ones. Um, we bled him. So like you guys were saying in the last video, you need to bleed your catfish. It'll taste better. So that's what we did. Now we just need to catch one or two more. Oh God, you're on. Oh God, bud. You are my bell. It's still on it. Yep. No way. Oh no, he's still on. Yeah. Eater? Eater? I don't know. Eater? Yeah, it's an eater. Do you need to net it? Do you need me to net it? I don't know. He's feeling decent now, dude. He's just swimming right at us. Where's he going? Oh no. Oh, that's an eater. That's a perfect eater. You got knocked? You keep your line in. I got this. On? Double, baby. We're doubled up. All right. Oh, mine choked it. Mine's gonna die. All righty, we got a little catfish here, a little channel cat. He's a little big, but uh, he'll eat. Sadly enough, he did inhale the hook all the way down to his throat. So he is, I don't think he's gonna make it back into the water. And we're doing a catch and cook, so we might as well just keep this one. And uh, it's not a big deal. But anyway, we're just gonna bleed him and uh, we're gonna go head back to the house and uh, we're gonna cook him up. We made it finally back to the house here. Uh, we stopped at Hy-Vee and got some Cajun style shore lunch. You guys know how I like my shore lunch. And we got a lemon. Payne's got the lemon. Payne's on lemon duty. Here we got the shore lunch. Cajun style. We got Cajun style because I kind of feel like 
catfish are like Cajun-ish, right? Like Louisiana, Cajun. That's, that's what I think about catfish. Anyway, we're gonna fillet these bad boys up. I'm gonna show you how to fillet them. And then we're gonna go inside and cook them up. We're gonna need a knife, that's for sure. Basically, we're just gonna come in here. See that sharp bone right there? Take it, cut it to the backbone. Straight demonetized. And we're gonna go follow, we're just gonna go down the backbone here. And you're just gonna follow all, all the way down to the tail here. Newspaper is usually not the strap, but you know what? So what we're working with. Not bad at all. I'm just gonna take it. I heard to skin them, but uh, I ain't got time for that. Basically, we're just gonna go right down this. <laughs> My knee came up and hit this dude. Ow. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting bit by bugs right now. We're just gonna clean it fast. And uh, yeah, this is what the flay is gonna look like. <laughs> <laughs> Bless me, thank you. Anyway, this is what the fillet looks like. We're gonna finish flaying all these fish, and then we're gonna go inside, clean them, and then throw them in the pan. Hey, you wanna try some catfish? Have you ever had catfish? Hey, chill, sit. Sit. Have you ever had catfish? Hey, you trying to bite my finger? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you do your own thing. Daisy he wants to try some catfish. We got a fillet from each side of the fish there. So we got a fillet off the big fish, to fillet off the small fish. Uh, some of my neighbors want to try some of the catfish. They really enjoy it. So I thought maybe I'd give them some catfish. So we're gonna go give it to them and just, we're gonna give it to them tomorrow. But anyway, we're gonna start the cooking process here. We got a pan, we need some oil. We're just gonna put enough oil to cover the bottom of it. And then we're gonna crank the heat up to a solid medium. We want it to be about a solid 350, 400 degrees area. Because once you put the fish in, the oil is going to cool down just a little bit. So you want it, you want the temperature just to be a little bit higher than what you think it is. Basically, we're just going to whisk the eggs around until you get a nice egg wash. And uh, that'll be a coating for the fish. We got the fillets. We're going to dump them in the egg wash here. Take your fish. Dump it in here. Kind of drain that thing. Basically, we're going to double dip it. So we're just going to dump it into the thing here. Take it off, kind of dry it off. Kind of get a nice dry coating on it. Kind of get all the pieces wet again. Dump it back in. You have bigger pockets? You just get shit. Okay, so we got a lovely fillet here. Oil is up to temperature. Just gonna lay it in there. God. Oh golly. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. We're just gonna let those sit in there for about mm, three to five minutes until they get cold and crispy on the other side. Then we're gonna flip it and do another three to five minutes and then they're ready to be cold off and we're gonna eat them. Sheesh! Alrighty guys, that's what we have. We got the limes. We're just gonna take it, get a little lemon juice. Did I say lime? I meant lemon. And anyway, we're just gonna get a little lemon juice on there. Get it all tasty up with some lemon and then uh take a little piece daisy you want a piece hey no it's probably hot you'll probably burn your mouth eh? oh no oh you're going for that kegger yeah that one looks like the best oh that doesn't look too bad in there eh no dry here no what do you think i don't know i can't really taste any difference from this fried fish to any other fried fish. Really? So it's not bad? Not bad. Do a little chunk to Daisy. Sit. Good girl. It no, tastes no it. different than anything else. So it's good. It's thumbs up. I'm gonna go for this little guy here. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That's like good. Cajun is kind of hot though. I think the Cajun seasoning in the lemon kind of like hides it. It's a little bit more than usual, but I mean, I think it's really good. It tastes like, if you told me that was walleye, I'd probably just be like, yeah, that's probably walleye. Not gonna lie. Yeah. What are you? I can't taste any difference from this to walleye. I would eat it. I mean, I'm gonna, we're gonna finish eating this. 
and then uh, I'll see you guys after. Alrighty, we just got done feasting on that catfish. That thing was freaking delicious. The last catch and cook I did on catfish, it did not taste that good. We did Frank's, but I think the Cajun seasoning and the lemon really like covered up the taste maybe. I don't know. Does like all catfish taste this good? I mean, I don't know what we did different, but this catfish was just, oh, I think it might have been we bleed it up. We bled them. I think that might have I think that might have done a big difference because we bled these ones and we didn't blood the ones that we did with the uh, uh, Franks. Anyway, that was really good. I gave it a nine out of ten, honestly. Not like I don't know what I would dock one point off for, but it's not bad. It, it was really good. I actually enjoyed it. Like I would go out again and keep catfish. Honestly, that was really good. So if you guys enjoyed the catfish series, leave a comment down below. If you guys like the catch and cooks, I would more than gladly do it again. Yeah. Definitely try it again. Oh yeah, what would you rate at 1 out of 10? 8. 8? Okay, that's not bad. Well, what do you rate walleye? 10. 10, okay. Just a little scale reference for you guys out there. It slapped. Okay, it was good. Anyway, if you guys liked today's video, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.